Myra? I'll be out here for you, and someone else will be in there for you. Kidman... She knew about Myra. this place. This symbol looks familiar. Like I've seen it in the real world. Torture devices. This place is almost medieval. Looks like they were burned alive.
Need a crank handle to turn it. Looks like I can use this.
been holding out your life. You refuse to see. It's all your fault. You are a failure. Your daughter was lost because of you. You couldn't save her. You hold the key to ease your daughter. I can guide you to the lock. Who are you? What do you want with me? You cannot change your past. You can only embrace it. Go toward it. Don't avoid it. Is that... Lily?
Sebastian Castellanos. You've finally come. I've been waiting for you. Who the hell are you? My followers call me Father Theodore. I hope that you will call me that too, friend. Another lunatic with a god complex, huh? I already killed one of you today. Of course you did. That is how you deal with every challenge in your life. Through brute force and intimidation. And look where it has led you. Into a hell of your own making. Lower your weapon. Use your mind instead of your fists for once. We have the same goal, Sebastian. We can help each other. Join me. You will be reunited with your daughter. And I will have the power of the core. I already know who has Lily. Yes. And Myra won't give her up so easily. What? Where are they? I wish that I could tell you. But you are not ready. You must be folded into my flock before I can share that knowledge. I said tell me where she is! Accept my invitation. I can lead you away from your own darkness. I can lead you to Lily. Sorry. I'm not a follower. So be it. You have so much pain, the events of the past haunt your every moment. I showed you the path here. You must learn that I am here to help. Return to me willingly. Then we can assume our natural roles. Not as adversaries, but as allies. Farewell for now, Sebastian. woke up. About time. I could use a little help here. You know how to use a gun, right? Take that side. Keep shooting until they're dead or we run out of ammo. What the hell is going on here? We can talk later. Looks like you've done this before. Too many times to count. Grab some supplies while you can. I can hear more coming. All right. But I'm getting some answers when this is all over. Not 
day, sucker! Shit! They're everywhere! Don't let them gang up on you! What is that noise? Oh shit. Watch out! Oh, what are these things? Doesn't matter, just kill them. I think that's the last of them. We gotta keep moving. This way. Thanks. Don't know if I could have done that on my own. I'm Esmeralda Torres. I'm... Sebastian. <laughs> I know. You do? It looks like we got him for now. We should make a move before more show up. <laughs> How did I wind up here? And who are you? No time for 20 questions. My safe house isn't too far. We can talk on the way there. Come on. Take whatever you need inside. I'll be out here. Try to stay quiet. There might be more of those things. You can at least tell me how you know my name. Kidman told me to keep an eye out for you. Kidman? Uh, she said she would try to get your help if the plan went to shit. And here you are, so... Wait. I'm lost. What plan? Getting Lily out of here. And then... Taking Mobius down for good. Wait a second. What is it? Let me guess. The way back to your safe house? There might be another way. Come on. Wait, hold on. Your plan. Kidman didn't say anything about that. Yeah, well, I'm sure she wasn't able to debrief you on that in front of everybody. Over here! One of us has got a lift while the other one crawls through. Got it. I'll just... Uh, get under! Whoa, you all right? Let get me help. Get your ass through before I drop it on your head! Okay, I've got it. Uh, thanks. <sighs> you need a break after that, old man? Come on. I'm not that old. So you're telling me Kidman had a plan to take out Mobius all this time? Actually, it was your wife's plan. Wait, Myra? So that's why she's here. She's part of Mobius. <sighs> this is ridiculous. You're gonna have to duck. Don't blow your back out. This isn't the time, Torres. You know, you should be proud of your wife. She's compelling. She recruited me for this plan. I don't understand. Why would she join them? She found out they had Lily, and knew the only way to take them down was from the inside. So she joined up and waited for the right moment. All these years... That's where she was. Damn it. This is a lot to take in. I'm sure it is, but let's not lose focus.
We've got to get over this. Can you help me? Yeah, of course. Ready? Hold on, I've got you. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Hey, you just gonna forget about me? What? You thought I'd leave you hanging like that? You're a part of the plan now. The plan. Right. Who else was involved in this little mutiny? Just four of us. Me, Kidman, Myra, and Theodore. Theodore? Father Theodore? Father Theodore? I just call him Theodore Wallace. You know him? We've met. But he doesn't want to save Lily. He wants her for himself. Tried to talk me into hunting down Myra, too. He's the one who screwed everything up. How is this whole thing supposed to go? Once Myra and Theodore got Lily, Theodore and I were gonna get her out while Myra stayed behind to take care of Mobius. Kidman stayed outside and make sure we got out of STEM safely. Shit, it was supposed to be easy. Nothing's ever easy. Oh no. What is it? Shh. Shit. We got trouble. Look. Quick, follow me. So much for your safe house. I wouldn't put my safe house in the open like that. It's hidden, but we've got to get past those things to get there. You see that red banner behind that building? Yeah. The hatch to my safe house is under it. Okay, I'll take the lead. Stay low and keep behind me. Right, but listen, I've seen these things before. Don't get near them while they're on fire.
son of a bitch! That's one way to do it. I was maybe expecting a little bit more stealth. There's no place like home, but a safe house runs a close second. Listen. Don't freak out at the amount of explosives I got in here. They're as safe as cookie dough. At least until I arm them. So what are we gonna do about Theodore? I don't know. He's insane. His hideout looks like an Inquisitor's dream home. I should be relieved that Myra has Lily instead of him, but... What? Myra has Lily? Yeah. But I'm not sure that's good news. She's... changed. This place seems to have affected her. She's hiding, trying to protect Lily from Theodore. And he'll tear this place apart to find them. If I can stop him, maybe Myra will come to her senses and we can get Lily out of here. So the plan is to take out Theodore? Yeah. But I have to find him first. How are you gonna do that? O'Neill helped me before. I'll call him, but I better give Kibben an update first. Right. But be careful what you say over that thing. She's probably in the control room with that lizard hovering over her. Sebastian? Where have you been? Did you find Stefano? I did more than that. I eliminated him. Good. And Lily? She slipped through my fingers again. I'm sorry to hear that. Any leads? The good news is that I've been in contact with Agent Torres. Her intel has been invaluable. That is good news. So what's the bad news? The bad news is there's someone more powerful than Stefano who wants to take this place over. And he needs Lily to do that. Torres told me you know him too. He's a real smooth talker. Damn. I think I know who you're talking about. I'll send some stuff to your room. That might help. Keep me posted. You know I'm here for you. I know. I trust you, Kidman. Okay. Time to get down to business. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Come in. Huh. Something's wrong. I gotta try and find him. You should stay here and get your explosives and weapons ready. I'll need your help once I locate Theodore. Is there a way into the Merrill from here? Yeah, there's a Mobius computer in that room. It'll take you to exit 72. Great. I'll call you when I'm ready. Hang tough, Torres. Got it. Good luck, Sebastian. This gives me some hope. 
seems like he couldn't fool everybody after all. Still need to be cautious. He convinced a lot of people straight into STEM. Preying on the lost and hopeless by pretending to have the keys to happiness. Now I'm beginning to understand his M.O. Spiritual leader and motivational speaker. No wonder he was able to convince everyone he was on their side. Seemed like a good guy on the surface. The bastard smooth-talked himself right into the middle of the plan. Just to use it for his own personal gain. His handwriting should have been a dead giveaway that he's a psycho. Jesus. This looks like it was written by the Zodiac Killer. Hey, Kidman. What's up, Sebastian? I was thinking about our first case together. You mean back at KCPD? That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. I was impressed. That was all thanks to you. You took me under your wing and showed me the ropes. Treated me like an equal. Wish I had a mentor like you when I was younger. I wanted to help you become one of the best. But the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you. To make sure KCPD weren't onto us. Too bad. You could have been a great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. I spent most of my youth in juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, it was either join them or rot in jail. Not a hard choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do I? I've been in Mobius for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. Something tells me the rebel in you is never too far behind. Thanks, Kitty. Relax, detective. How may I assist you? You're back. New knowledge requires new abilities for the challenges ahead. If you knew something I didn't, you could have just told me and saved me the headache. If only I could. But this is a journey you must take alone. But I'm not alone. I found others to help me. Taurus. Hoffman, O'Neill. They are there to accompany you, but the discovery is yours alone to make. Discovery, and self-discovery. That's what makes STEM so... intriguing. Let me ask you a few more questions before I go. You said Myra was supposed to stay behind to take care of Mobius. How? By using STEM against them. Everyone in Mobius has a brain chip implanted in them that allows them to enter STEM without being affected by it. The chip allows them access and benefits that normal citizens don't have. And you let them put those things inside you? It's not like we were given much of a choice. Myra was supposed to send a signal back through STEM that would neutralize every member of Mobius via their brain chips. Basically, like a mass remote control lobotomy. That's one way to solve the problem, I guess. If we don't do it, Mobius will just put Lily back in STEM and kill all of us for mutiny. It's the only way. I can't believe Kidman's behind all of this. She sent me into Beacon. She stood by while Lily was put into STEM. 
doesn't seem like her to betray them. You're an outsider, Sebastian. You don't know what Kinman is really like. She had to keep her true self secret all this time so that she could get close enough to strike. But why now? Why not when they were building the new stem? We need stem to send the signal to take Mobius down. When Lily was chosen as the core, Myra and Kidman decided it was time to put everything into effect. The way things are going now, this could be our only chance to pull this off. So how did Theodore Wallace get mixed up in this? It was Theodore's idea of sending the signal through Stem. Now that I think about it, he probably just wanted to take over Mobius for himself. Damn it. I knew he wasn't trustworthy. That guy's slippery like a snake. But that's his game. He can convince people of anything. He convinced us that he was here to help us. Yeah. I've known people like that. They always seem like they're your best friend. Until they stab you in the back. One minute I was in a tidal wave of blood in Theodore's hellhole. The next thing I know, I'm in that house with you. I still don't understand how you found me. Me either. I was scouting the area around my safe house for supplies when I heard a girl's voice coming from that abandoned house. I went to investigate. No girl, but you were there. It's almost like I was led to you. A girl's voice? It had to be Lily. But how? There's no telling how or why things happen in here. Stem was already unpredictable before she escaped. But now? <sighs> I stopped trying to make sense of things a long time ago.